So it's going to take me about 10 seconds to get rid of this velocity. I'm just going to keep bending the orbit. I want the green X to be right there on the pink Y. Just like that. What does that mean? When the green X is on the pink Y and I'm close to the station within 5 to 10 kilometers, that means that I'm going straight towards it. I can actually time warp. I'll get there faster. That looks good. I'm coming in high. I'm going to come in high. My fueling ports are low. So what am I going to do? I'm actually going to push the green X to the bottom of that. Why is that the bottom? Because when you look at it this way... Just a second. Let me make sure I don't crash here. When you look at it the other way, it is actually on the bottom. Let's now identify our dorsal side. That is our dorsal side right there. Because we put that big guy and we put the batteries on there. Do you see the dorsal side? Once I get up here, I'm just going to let it coast a little bit more. Looks like I'm coming to the far docking port. Yeah, eight minutes. Once I get right there, I'm going to look like this. And I am going to kill all of my relative velocity right like this. pretty good we came to a stop right where we wanted now what we need to do is roll over because our docking port is up there that we're gonna fuel up on let's go ahead and orient I'm gonna go with a 90 degree angle like this with Kerbin in the background it's pretty it's pretty I really should have put that docking port on the dorsal side that'll be in the next version do you see what I'm doing I'm turning it in the wrong direction if I had the craft the other way around, <laughs> Station Master Freak at DOS high speed flybys during dockings. You're not even kidding. If I had the ship, if I had this on the dorsal side, the ship would be a lot better to control. You know why? Because whenever my dorsal side is up on the craft, based on the camera, pressing D moves me to the right, pressing A, actually it's yaw, pressing A yaws me to the left, pressing D yaws me to the right, pressing S yaws me up, and pressing W yaws me down. Because my dorsal side is on the bottom and my docking port is on the ventral side, it's backwards, which really gets on my nerves. Let's dock this thing really quick. We can actually control from here. We can actually set this docking port as our target. We can actually orient ourselves such that we are aligned with the docking port using this mod right here, which is the docking port. Navball alignment docking indicator is what it's called longest mod name. I can never remember it and now we just need to use our RCS turn it on We've got our governors there. There we go And we need to get up to the station We're gonna need to go this way some it looks like and look how much control we have with those veer governors And we're going to need to go This way a little bit. I think slow it on down. How are we from this axis? Let's go this way. It's all backwards, right? I love those Veer Governors though, they give me so much control. They really do give me a lot of control. That looks good. And slow it down. And I know I did that really very quickly, right? <laughs> I am trying to dock in a hurry here. What I was doing was controlling the craft such that the pink ball, the green ball, and... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. The pink ball, the green ball, the red ball, and my indicator were all stacked on top of each other. That's how I was able to do that dock so fast. I do apologize for doing that so quickly. I do apologize for doing that so quickly. We are already gassed up because of that excellent fuel mod that we have. We are already all completely gassed up. I am going to F5 for safety. It's 9.55. Good night, Irene. Here's what's going to happen. Thank you, CMA half. Um... I talked through that very quickly because I'm in a hurry, right? I'm supposed to be live on KSP TV in five minutes, <laughs> which is my problem. Um, I do entire streams, entire Kerbal Space Academy streams where I teach you. I do docking drills, and I do that over and over and over again. And I teach you how to do that. I know that I blew through it. I know that I blew through it. Um, but if you ever see a KSA, Kerbal Space Academy, Kerbal Space Academy docking drill stream, come to that, and I will teach you how to do what I just did. For two or three or four or as long as people are interested in asking questions, hours, we will go over how to get docs like that done. It's so easy. It's really so easy. We will totally teach you how to do that. That is what we do at Kerbal Space Academy. Anybody can do that. The governor's your idea. Nice, Darth Andrea. That's awesome. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, reload. 261. I almost wonder... I almost wonder the ghost docking <laughs> the ghost docking let me go over here and send a message I need to be getting set up I need to be getting set up for that jeez oh Pete 
Oh, where's the official business? <sighs> Just one second, y'all. <sighs> I reinstalled KSP thanks to last night's stream. Already achieved orbit. Thanks for putting me into space mood, Doss. Mercenary Blue, thank you for that. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> Just a second. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So we got that done. We got that done. That is over there. We'll just torpedoes away. We'll see what that does. And then we're, I'm trying to get set up for KSP TV while I look at this mission as well. Um, so we've got that set up. We've got this guy totally redocked, refueled. Is it? It's totally refueled. I love it. Let's go ahead and click F5 for safety. There was a quick save over there. And let's see if we can't go rendezvous with that other ship. I wonder what would be easier. Rendezvousing the ship with this or rendezvousing the kicker with the ship? Let's look right quick. Let's look. Where is the other ship? Narwhal. Simple docking craft. KSA space dock. Simple docking. Yep, that moved it. Space plane trainer. Oh, that's a space plane trainer. He needs to go somewhere, somewhere. There's a 12-pack launcher. There's the bacon station, the white October. There it was. It was a 12-pack launcher, wasn't it? That 12-pack launcher and the Gos Valdez station is where? Is that the Gos Valdez? Oh, that is the Gos Valdez station right there. Interesting. Interesting. I could do a pretty easy rendezvous. I could definitely do a pretty easy rendezvous here. Let's see here. <laughs> Darth Andrea, that's awesome. I bought KSP after seeing a Pelborian video, learned to fly watching Scott Manley in 4KB short, and now I'm taking my space master's degree with me. Darth Andrea, dude. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you for putting that in the channel over there. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and get that rendezvous done right quick. I am waiting to see if there's something I can do with KSP TV and this. I've got him docked. That's good. I'm basically waiting. F5 for safety again because I do that way too often. I'm going to undock him. I'm going to switch to the craft, the IP kicker stage. I'm going to use just a little bit of RCS. To puff away from the station. Now that I'm full, right? I don't quite have the same control authority. You're like, Das, you put way too much SAS and stuff on there. When I'm full, I like to be able to control this thing. Let's go ahead and close our docking port. Let us go over to here. Let's see here. I need to set that other craft as my target. Simple docking craft. Space plane trainer. 12-pack launcher. There we go. Set his target. Right like that. And we need to come up orbit just a little bit. Let's press backspace to focus on our craft. I really do know I'm going through this very quickly, guys. And I appreciate the patience y'all are having with me. Um, let me go ahead and pull this down. Until I get there, we go. That's 89. That craft was in what orbit? Where's the space dock? IP kicker. There it is back there. It's in an 86K orbit. So let's go ahead and pull that down until we get down to an 86K orbit. That's 89 that's 86 good enough and now I'm just gonna drag this things around I'm just gonna drag this things around such that I get that rendezvous so you can see on the back side of the planet right now it's gonna be there I'm gonna be there we gotta give it more time to catch up let's do one orbit Wow look at what one orbit did that's amazing right click again go ahead and go like this line those two things up that looks good right there doesn't it 2.7 kilometers. 2.7 kilometers. All right. Let's see anything else. We've got that. 2.7 kilometers is good enough. It is going to be a unknown burn. <laughs> We've got one. So it's look at this. Look at this. It's a 50, mi 50 meters per second, and it is going to be 1 meters per second in terms of what we can actually apply. That means that means that when we do this. We are going to burn for about 50 seconds. We can do it on the fly. We can do it on the fly. We can flip around this way. Oops, don't need to be wasting that RCS. We can flip around this way. 
we can point at that node and we can time warp for 38 seconds. And I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to get this thing docked, which should be pretty quick. Then we are going to switch to KSP TV. That is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do the actual interplanetary transfer. I just looked at the stream title and I was saying reusable interplanetary transfer stages, right? <laughs> so we've built a reusable interplanetary transfer stage. We are going to dock this. We are going to hop over to KSP TV and we are going to continue streaming, but not with this craft. We're going to continue streaming with the mod test and I'll be looking at mod life support mods tonight. I think that's the right thing to do. Um, I don't want to be 30 or 45 minutes late or anything like that. I don't want to make a habit of doing these sorts of things. I'm rotating just fine here. Oh, maybe what I need to do is control from here. Nope, we were controlling from the right place. Yeah, because that's the root node. Let's get on around so we can get this dock done. And then I want everybody in this channel to come over to KSP TV, where we will continue the party. We will continue the party. And in honor of that, I will play some chip tunes over in KSP TV tonight. Whoa, there's the Gas Valdez station. <laughs> We've apparently been orbiting the Gas Valdez station. Three, two, one. What did I say? 50 seconds, right? Because 50 meters per second divided by one, roughly, is 50. So when this gets down to 25, I need to execute the burn, right like that. And look at that. The burn time was 43 or 40, something like that. And I'm just going to execute this burn right here. Thank you so much for being patient. I'm, I'm very much pressed for time. I should have started the stream an hour or two earlier. I was trying to save my voice because I've got to be yelling at people at boot camp this weekend. And I really should have started the stream. It was, whoa! <laughs> Space Ops. Rolo, take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Space Ops manual says don't crash into the station when you're doing your uh, rendezvous burn. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you, Space Doc. I'm just trying to rendezvous with the craft right quick. That right there, three, two, one, cut, point two, point one, cut, zero is good. Let's go over to where we have that rendezvous. Tell me we don't have that thing anymore. There's the 12-pack launcher, set as target. There is our rendezvous, 1.7 kilometers. Apparently me burning the node blind is better than actually putting the node in there. I'm going to put a maneuver right there, and I'm going to time warp up to that maneuver. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, come on, 5, 4, jump on the gun a little bit there, 3, 2, all right, let's have a look, acquire the target, not finding it, still not finding it, still not finding it, no worries, thanks, Mona Bobby, I, there it is up there, Mona Bobby, I know that I was talking through that stuff a little bit quickly tonight, and I do appreciate everybody's patience with that. Um, I know, I know that I was doing that a little bit too fast, so, uh, I am going to do all these things that I've strung together, the docking, the lifter design, all those things, I will do special KSA sessions on those where I focus just on those topics, so if you're interested in learning those things, stick with me during one, during one of those KSA streams. So we're getting there, four, three, two, let's go ahead and orbit bend a little bit. And again, I just want to push this up here because I want to get this dock done as fast as I can because it's time to be on KSP TV. It is time to be on KSP TV right now. And I am going to push this node over this way. Not the node. I'm going to push the green X onto the pink Y just like I did before, right? It's the same principle. We're bending that orbit. Every minute, every second that I do this, this gets better and better. Four. Three. You see it going down? You totally see it going down. Let's keep on burning. We're still got 31 meters per second. I'm just pushing that green X over to the pink Y, just like that. And now I am going to fast forward till I get to the station. So let's fast forward up to the station. This isn't a station, it's the Dr. Pepper launcher. Hello, Dr. Pepper launcher, old friend. Let me burn towards you a little bit so that we can come to a halt here. And wow, I'm gonna pass it. That's not cool. As designed. <laughs> totally as designed. I can actually do this and I should be able to slow down a little bit. And let's get this thing docked. There is the DP 12 pack launcher. Find my dorsal side. My dorsal side is up this time. Right like that. And what I need to do is move myself in such a way that I stop flying away from the Dr. Pepper 12 pack like that. Let's bag it up a little bit. I'm killing all my velocity. 
And I know, no, no, that I'm doing this quickly. And I know I shouldn't be wasting RCS like that, but whatever, we're fine. So, there is the Dr. Pepper 12-pack launcher. Here is this. Let us go ahead and burn up like this. I also think I'm going to need to go back a little bit, right? So we can definitely go back a little bit. And I'm just going to let it slide. I'm just going to let this go. I will do this dock a little bit slower for you. So that looks good. I'm, I'm getting in position, right? That position makes me feel good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that velocity. And go ahead and move straight towards the target. Now I really want you to look at the nav ball here. I really positively want you to look at the nav ball. I am going to right click on that guy. Set that as the target. You see the red ball. I want to point straight at the red ball. The next thing that I want to do is get myself moving towards the target. When that happens, that green X will actually become a green not X. Next thing I want to do, I want to set it up just like this so that the green X, the pink ball, and me are all in a line. This time, instead of me being between or having the green part in between me and where I'm pointing, I need the green thing to be on the far side because I'm dragging myself over this this time. I can actually time warp and watch what happens. Watch the screen and watch the nav ball. That green ball is dragging me over to the side. When I start to get lined up like this, I can actually turn my spotlight on. There you can see it. When I start to get my heading and the red ball lined up with the purple ball, I want to put the green ball right there in the middle. Just like that. And now I want to go towards the thing. We could do nav HUD. In fact, let's look at nav HUD. Nav HUD is like the HD version. What I want to do is get the green ball directly down like this. And I want to get myself pointing directly at nav HUD. The problem with nav HUD is that it messes with me. Because it's like a backwards nav ball. I just realized that a couple days ago. There we go. That's okay though. And we need to kill some of that velocity and just start going straight. There we go. I think that we're looking pretty good here. I'm definitely coming a little bit hot in the interest of time in KSP TV, but I am definitely trying to get lined up. The red ball looks good. The pink ball looks a little bit low. I can fix that like this. I do need to slow down just a little bit. Let's go ahead and time warp. Now I need to go straight, straight forward again. How is this looking? We don't dock at 0.3 meters per second, space cadets. <laughs> it looks good. Let's slow it down. Slow it down. There we go. It's looking good. I've got magnets. That right there is magnets pulling me. And we are docked. We are docked with the cargo that we want to kick out interplanetary style. Now, we need to check something. We need to see how good a job we did in the vat. Scarlet River, what is going on? I'm going to right click on every docking port and make sure that it says undocked. That right there, undocked. That right there, undock. That right there, undock that right there undock one more and we're the winners that right there oops undock so we got five solid docks we checked every single one of them and we got five solid docks with the payload right there folks i'm not done i'm not done streaming but i'm gonna switch channels right quick i'm actually gonna go over to ksp tv ksp tv right now the dorsal lights are lining up the two crafts. A little bit. The dorsal lights are also helping me know which way is up. And when I do the docking when I do the docking drills, I will definitely describe that in more detail. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm not going anywhere. I am just gonna change Twitch channels. I want everybody to go to KSP TV and do DOS Raid. Everybody go over to KSP TV. HTTP da 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 da. Twitch.tv slash KSP TV right like that go to ksp tv when you get there say dos raid i just want to see how many people come over don't use all caps don't use all caps i always i will be watching the ksp tv chat but go over there do dos raid not all caps just do dos raid just like that i just gave you links get there my stream is going to shut down we're going to fire up ksp tv there's going to be a couple commercials and that sort of stuff but don't worry about it i will be back online in two shakes of a dog's tail Streaming on KSP TV. We're looking at life support tonight. Thank you, Fusil. Mad Max. Daspa. Welcome to Kerbal Space Academy. Let's go to KSP TV. Give a shout out in KSP TV when you get there. 
I am not. I'm not going away. Okay, SPD is hosting me. We'll come over here anyways. Come over here and ho- Anyways, I'm gonna need to connect to KSP TV right quick so I can handle that. KSP TV. Everybody, love it. There's some DOS raids coming through. You guys are awesome. I'm gonna need to do no caps, not too many caps. Got it. Unhost. Like that. I'm going to need to shut down this over here. Where is it at? Stop streaming. I'll be.